the orchard seems empty. Ah, there's some sheep all the way over there. There's probably more in the shed. Come on, girls! There we go. That's most of the flock is in there. And they are here. Come on girls, you're going to the woods. Come on. Come on. Good girls, come on. girls. And they're immediately eating the cow parsley. They'll browse all kinds of bits and pieces. So I'm going to close the gate to the orchard, the primitive fashion in which we use it. This, this doesn't work anymore because this is dying. Anyway, here are the sheep doing their annual cleaning up of our woods. These beautiful yellow leaves, these are Solomon seal that are turning. So they are going to be eating. There's ground elder. There's ground elder, loads of it here. There's cow parsley. There's brambles here, You'll, they'll browse that. Here's laurel. Then we have elder, which you can see the berries are still on. It's so mild the birds haven't finished eating the uh, elderflower berries. They're eat, browsing the elder, which has lovely, healthy supplements for them and they're lamb, growing lambs. Here's spindle. This is a spindle that's here in the woods. You can see there's one of its berries. So this spindle tree is um, right here. You can see it goes up over and it's right here, it's split. But this side has died, sadly. But this side is alive. Here you can see browsing the laurel to keeping it down because I want uh, holly to replace the laurels in these woods. So this is a hazel tree. Here's a hazel. It's a young hazel, you can see. This is an ash tree. This is another um, elderflower. So they're gonna have, those are Solomon seal, you can see coming up over there. And the canopy above is a mixture of ash and beech and pine that my grandfather planted the pine my grandfather planted in 1962, 61 or 62. So they're all enjoying. There's nibbling some ground elder. And here we have to keep the um, sheep away from this yew tree. This is a yew tree that's deadly poisonous to all livestock and one of the reasons why yew trees are in graveyards is so that farmers wouldn't allow their li livestock go in to mow the, around the graves when grass was short because if they did they might eat some yew needles or browse the tree and die. So it was one way that people would keep farmers from using uh, graveyards for grazing. This is uh, more cow parsley. So you can see they're gonna have a lovely time in here. This is my huge hedgehog hotel in here where the hedgehogs are all hibernating. And every year we just add pile stuff on top of it. We never burn it. And there's paths going in and out where the hedgehogs use during the season. And here's one of the hollies. 
that I'm trying to encourage to grow. So you can see the sheep are all running around to get their favorite foods in amongst this uh, diversity of woodland that we have here. There's time has decided to join us. Am I right, kitty? Yeah. Have you decided to join us? Help put the sheep out into the woods. Yes. Yes. Yeah, kitty. Yeah. Can you be a kitty? So they have lots of um woods and biodiversity to graze in through here. They've scattered around. Oh, look at the mushrooms. Wonderful mushrooms there. Huge toadstool stools. Here they are grazing under here. Uh, there's loads of delicious, um, what is it called? People call it sticky willy or robin run the hedge or uh, all these kind of things, but there's loads of it down in here. So they're, they're, they're doing a huge browse of everything around here.